All right, so today I'm um, going to play with the Juice Link DIY slider. Uh, what you get with the uh, slider, he has a couple of different kits, but basically you get this um, trolley system here, and this is what it what it looks like. Uh, so you get this trolley system, and then you get a couple of end clamps to hold some rails together. But it's up to you to, to pick out the rails that you want um, and the size that you want. So there's a number of different types of rails you could use. This one here is uh, stainless steel, so you don't have to worry about it rusting or uh, having to coat it for any reason. Um, and you know the steel is extremely firm. So right now it's set up on a set of four foot rails. And again, all it comes with is the trolley and the two end clamps. So there's a couple of things that I did with this Juice Link slider, um, and because it's it's actual roller bearings, it makes it real easy to uh, to kind of build on for doing motion control with a very lightweight uh, small motor. All right, so here at the end of the rail, I have a servo. Uh, this is a continuous rotation servo here, um, and this is a servo controller, speed controller. And then I have a uh, battery pack here that holds four AAA batteries. Um, this is pretty much the same setup that was used on the Canova that was uh, motion controlled by Sea uh, Light. So um, you know I'll link to these parts later. Uh, but again, this is a really small motor, and um, it's just held on via double-sided tape. And then I put a, a bit of Velcro here to kind of hold all the uh, cables together. But the double-sided tape was enough to just keep it in place because it takes very little effort to move um, some really heavy weights uh, on this uh, slider because it's it's full roller bearings so you can see very easy very smooth uh, no vibrations all right and on the opposite end here this is a u-groove wheel so it's not even a uh, a pulley this is just a u-groove wheel and this is going to help retain the um, the string that I'm using uh, on the trolley uh, once I wrap it around. So you'll see that in a second here. Alright, so I just have this uh, basic string. This is a mason string here. I'm just going to run it around the servo and the uh, wheel, the U-groove wheel at the other end. And then um, I have Velcro on the trolley here. And the reason I have Velcro is I can stick this on very easily and you want the string to be fairly tight to have some tension so that uh, the servo can can grab it. If it's too loose, the servo will just spin without grabbing this string. So uh, with Velcro, I'm able to just pull it tight and uh, stick it on via Velcro there. Again, it doesn't take much effort to kind of move this trolley back and forth. Uh, so just a bit of string and a small servo is all it takes. You don't want to do this in any kind of vertical position. You don't want to lift the camera upwards. As long as you stay fairly horizontal, uh, that servo again is going to be able to push this uh, trolley back and forth. That's full speed right now. And I will reverse it. Actually, I'll creep it really slowly so you guys can see how slow that is. So that's as slow as it will go, powered by four AAA batteries. Once again, I'm gonna move this thing full speed all the way down. You can see it. Alright, so anyways, that's just kind of a brief look at um, how we motorize this Juice Link slider just through some string and a, you know, a small servo. Again, servo controller from servocity.com and uh, four AAA batteries. Um, I'll link to all these products on the site so you can see how, how we put this together. But um, none of this would be possible if we didn't have these uh, roller bearings so this makes it real easy to pull a large amount of weight effortlessly 
without having um, a really big heavy motor on there. So uh, that's just kind of a quick look at Juice Link's DIY slider motorized here in the studio.